Hello, my name is Trey. Welcome to Working Out Change. Today, we're going to be talking about creator content. And when I say creator content, I meant to say creator courses. Don't worry about what I say. And so this is coming from Ty from 99. Okay. And I think this is a very interesting uh, conversation to have. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to. If you don't, you know what to do. All right, let's watch the video. After the past few courses, I decided I needed to look into a more serious, creator-focused, non-controversial course that could help me here on YouTube, because at the end of the day, these are the courses targeting creators more than anything. What I found astounded me. I've seen videos like these pop up, and I'm sure you have too. YouTube growth hacks, how to grow a channel in 2023, how to stand out on YouTube, etc. But these aren't videos from well-known YouTubers trying to help out others. These are entire channels dedicated to making videos about making videos. We've all heard the saying during a gold rush, sell shovels, but they're not just selling shovels. They're selling the map on where to find gold, the book on how to mine gold, the book on how to refine gold, and they've never done any of these things themselves. And ironically, they've actually gotten pretty successful refining this formula. It's become so common to see these videos, you probably don't even think twice about it, but it's essentially oh, dumbing man. down. Uh, let me say this right quick. That was actually pretty funny. So not only do you uh, sell the shovels, you, <laughs> you sell a map on how to find the gold, you, f you sell a map on how to get the gold and how to refine the gold, and they've never in them in their life done anything with gold. I think that's pretty funny. Um, and I want to say this as well. I never thought about this, and there are channels, and I'm not going to name this in particular channel, but I'm sure y'all know who it is. Um, there is a channel out there that used to make YouTube content all the time, talk about how to make YouTube videos. They went from getting 100,000 views a video to now today, they get 8,000 views a video. And here's what ends up happening, right? It's when you sell courses on or you make videos on just how to make videos, eventually people are going to stop watching you, right? Because people are like, I mean, what else can I learn from you? How many times are you going to tell me, do this in 2023, do this new hack in 2023? It's funny because some of the videos they make, they'll be like, so what you can do is if you want to teach people how to make YouTube videos by making YouTube videos, what you can do is all you have to do is make the same kind of content instead of saying 2022, put on there 2023. And now people think there is some new, it's like, why you're telling me that. So you, you're telling me that the reason I'm watching your video is because you use one of your hacks on me. It's like, people don't like that. It makes it feel like they got fooled into watching a video. It's like, you're telling me how to fool myself. You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? I hope it does. Oh, well down the art form of video creation. It would be like me, somebody who's never written a fucking book in their life, writing a book on how to become a best-selling author. And then that book becomes a New York Times bestseller. Would you read that book? Would you take any of the- <laughs> This guy's hilarious. Check him out, man. Tie from 99. The advice in it? If you're looking into becoming an author, probably not. And that's because much like these creators, I wouldn't be targeting readers. I'd be targeting writers. Unless you plan on starting a channel that's also dedicated to growing on YouTube, their experience is almost entirely useless. And I'm not going to knock the hustle. You know, if it just ended here, I wouldn't even mention them. But it doesn't end here. Their channels are just fronts to promote their courses. Film Booth, a channel with 300,000 subscribers, has a couple courses on their site. For starters, they have an $800 course on how to make better thumbnails. This creates an interesting dynamic, because for this course to have any value whatsoever, they must not have already shared this knowledge publicly on their channel. But then an eight, and I think that says 800 pounds, which I think for uh, us in America, that's just right around uh, 900 to 1,000 dollars. Let me say this. Uh, making a video and selling courses on how to make a YouTube thumbnail. Listen, guys, please hear me out. Do not spend your money on how to make a YouTube thumbnail. Okay. <laughs> what drives me so crazy when it comes to, put the, put the camera on me. Put the camera on me. Thank you. What drives me crazy when it comes to these content people and making all these videos and how to make content it's what drives me nuts is that what they say doesn't make any sense a lot of the times. They'll be like, how to get 100,000 subscribers in six months. Okay, is that possible? Yes, but the chances of that happening is almost zero. And I'm not even kidding. The chances of you getting 100,000 subscribers, period. I don't care if you've had your channel for 12 years. The chances of you getting 100,000 subscribers is very low. So the chances of you getting it in six months is way lower. And what they'll tell you is pretty much to make videos that people like. I've watched these videos. Oh, that's how you get 100,000 subscribers in six months? I just need to make videos that people like? What kind of stupid advice is that? Duh. 
You know what I'm saying? They sell common sense to you. It's like, that's not the problem because if everybody just needed to make videos that people like, it would be very easy to get to 100,000 subscribers. But let me tell you this. If it was easy to get 100,000 subscribers, there would be far more channels with 10 million plus subs. Because at some point, the great channels are going to separate themselves from the not great channel. That's how it works in everywhere. Just like if it was easy to make six figures, if everybody can make six figures, there would be way more multimillionaires because everybody is always going to separate themselves from the pack. That's how it always goes in every part of life. So when you see these kind of channels, guys, there are so many people who really think that you just hop on this YouTube channel. I mean, hop, make a YouTube channel, make a couple viral videos, and it's going to work out for you. There's so many people who try to keep catching lighting in a bottle. So somebody will make a video that goes viral, gets 500,000, uh, 600,000, 700,000 views, and they're, they go from zero subs to how many, and who knows, right? And they'll always try to keep that same power. They'll try to get that same thing again, just not thinking to themselves, this video just happened to do extremely well. But if you don't have a niche or you don't have a passion for this stuff, guys, you will get found out easy right those views will show you right i get plenty of views on some videos there's some videos that get no views guys get nine views 10 views i know some of my videos do well and i know some of my videos do terrible but i tell you one thing though i never try to make a video just for views i make videos because i love making videos when i talk about certain situations it's because i'm curious or i'm nosy and i love to talk so it's not hard for me to make those videos. It is not hard for me to see a video not do well. If a video does terrible, let's say it gets zero views, it does not break my heart. I try to make videos that people want to see, but for the most part, I make videos that I also want to make. I don't make videos to go viral. I make videos that I think that I can show the most passion. And when people watch my videos and say, see that passion, they may want to be like, oh, you know what? I watch more of his videos because he showed so much passion. He showed that he really cared. It sounded like he cared about this topic. Because if I made videos about stuff I don't care about, such as like yesterday, I said I was going to, I could have made a video on Brittany Renner, but I didn't care. You guys would have known that, right? If I'd have made the video, I'd have been like, ah, it's Brittany Renner, whatever. That would have been the video and it would have sucked. Right. You can't expect every video to do well. But if you put your very best into every video and try to get better and try to make videos that people may like while trying to mix in what you like, that works. Just like when I make the cop videos, people like watching cop videos. I like watching it for the human interactions. You may want to watch it to watch people get arrested and laugh at them. I want to make it to say, let's not laugh at them. Let's talk about what happened. Let's talk about the interactions that happened. Let's talk about the mistakes they did. I want to break the video down because it generally, uh, I'm generally intrigued. So we're both getting what we want. You know what I'm saying? I think that's important. Just don't do this whole get 100,000 subscribers in six months. You're, you're, you're doomed if you think that's going to happen. And that means that the videos they have dedicated to thumbnails must not be the best advice they can give because for that you have to pay $800. They also have a free 20 minute course that immediately upsells you to a $4,000 course on everything you need to succeed on YouTube in just 10 weeks. Almost every YouTube guru has free courses like these. A much more recognizable channel like Think Media has a free course they live stream once a week. In the course, the host Sean Cannell spends 40 minutes giving you a basic background, spends a few minutes teasing this 7R formula, tells you that subscribers don't matter anymore, it's all about the views, and then ironically share some success stories about creators that have blown up in subscribers but don't get many views. And then he pivots this course into selling Video Wrecking Academy. They're 4,000. I want to say this. Um, you know, they're right. Subscribers don't don't matter any as much as they once did. Um, if you're not getting the engagement, nobody cares because I'm sure you guys know that they're allegedly there's a way to get YouTube channels with tons of subscribers, right? Um you can just go get these in some places. Allegedly, you can go get channels uh, or you can, you know, get bots, you know, um, and you see some of these channels out there that have 40,000 subscribers and they get like 100 views a video. There's obviously something wrong with that. Subscribers do not matter. And I want to say this for you people who think subs do matter. They matter when it has to do with your engagement. But here's the thing. What kind of videos are you making? If you're making videos like if you're making compilation videos, of course you're going to get a ton of subscribers. You'll get a ton of views. But is that the same thing as somebody who makes videos 
and tries to be, do re, makes videos like this, does the research, really looks into this stuff, really tries to educate you. They're not the same. Somebody who's taking other people's videos and then putting it on their channel and calling it a compilation and then saying, oh, yeah, I'm getting all this money. I'm so successful. I don't see that as the same thing. And there's also people who make videos of just random stuff. And one of some of the videos just happen to pop and people show interest in it. And then the rest of the videos suck. Right. You just got to be careful. I think the most important thing to do when it comes to this YouTube thing, first of all, is if you're trying, don't think about the money first, because that's going to burn you out quick. Second thing, man, once again, find something you actually want to talk about, like you're passionate about it. There is nothing. I, I, I want to say this. I got to reiterate this one more time. There is nothing more that I like when it comes to. You get over there. There's nothing more that I like when it comes to YouTube is when I find somebody who is passionate about what they're talking about. If I find somebody who's talking about, um, let's say somebody talks about uh, slot racing, right? Slot racing cars. If they talk about it with passion, like, oh, man, guys, look at this wheel. I just got this wheel. Only cost me $99. And, guys, when you when you see what it does here on this track and see how well it grips the track, it is so amazing. I find that freaking amazing. When I find somebody who's passionate about drawing, somebody who's passionate about art, Somebody who's passionate about football. Somebody who's passionate about basketball. And you can tell when they talk about it because they get mad. They get, they get upset. They get happy. They laugh. They cry. It's, that stuff matters. And that's what make, keeps people coming back. How many channels have you seen do well? Not because people want to watch basketball, but because they want to watch you watch basketball. They know how frustrated you get. They know how angry you get. They know how excited you get. They see all of it because it's so serious to you. I think that's sorry. I keep looking at the wrong camera. I think that's so important that we should do that. OK. And so that's what you should do. Find something you really love, even if it's what some people would consider stupid. Like if you like basket weaving, which is always a funny example. If you really show a real passion for you, you'll get somebody. If you and who cares if that's a niche that's going to get you a million subscribers. If you show passion, people will keep coming to you. Be like, hey. I like basket weaving and I know somebody I know likes to do basket weaving. And maybe you can mix that in. Be like, do some basket weaving with some reaction videos. Do some basket weaving with commentary videos. You can mix it in and find a niche that can satisfy everybody. But it has to start with doing something you love to do. I say this all the time. The reason I make the videos I make now is because I don't know how to shut up. And it, I know that sounds funny, but it's true. I like to talk. This is the gift I've been given. I've been talking my whole life. I've done speeches. I love doing presentations. I love to talk. So I just mix it in with something I love to do. And then I just put it in the videos. Next. Thousand dollar course that for a limited time, you can get for 12 payments of $97. They have this limited time $97. deal every week. And if you buy this course, you can get access to their 7R formula. The same 7R formula that they posted publicly on their channel five months ago. But Sean assures you that this course is 20 to 50 times worth the asking price. Guarantees you make the money back and insinuates that it's a better investment than going to college. It's actually the worst course I've ever fucking taken. The entire course pushes this ideology of making videos on sell products. Utilizing affiliate marketing and out of the little advice it does give, it's entirely surface level and at times outdated. Sean goes into depth talking about the need for harvesting an email list, tells you to search YouTube to find video ideas, gives spammy promotional tactics, and constantly rehashes the need for affiliate marketing and sponsorships. This isn't a course on how to become a YouTuber or even how to market your videos. This is how to become a salesman for Amazon products. Video ranking- Thank you! Oh, well, why my voice cracked? That was embarrassing. Thank you! That's what I want to say. A lot of these people are selling you on being a freaking Amazon person. I've seen so many of these courses and they suck to watch. Let me, let me, let me, let me open up a little bit. Let me be real with you. Listen, I love that people want to make money on YouTube. I love it. What I hate so much is that when I was coming up and I'm still a micro YouTuber, small, not important. But I remember when I started thinking about becoming a YouTube creator, period. I didn't care about the money. I just wanted to make YouTube videos. And what I always kept coming across when I tried to listen to people, it almost always went back to, and when you get making YouTube videos, what you could end up doing is doing Amazon. And with that Amazon affiliate, it's just like, dog, I don't use Amazon like that. I don't make videos that would even, it would make no sense. Even the products you see on camera, guys, a lot of the stuff behind me I got for free. Okay, 
None of this stuff you see in front of me right now is something from Amazon. This is this right here is from Logitech. My computers and monitors I bought from real life people in front of their face, right? I normally buy a lot of the stuff I have. I buy them from people because once again, I told you I love people. I love helping people out. Um, and so I love to go get my stuff from actual people, right? It's just something to me when I'm getting something from them and they're getting something from me. They may have needed the money. I really needed a PC and we're helping each other. I love to do that. It's rare that I get a lot of stuff off online. Everything I, everything I buy, I look for it on Facebook Marketplace or somewhere else to see if I can buy it from somebody first before. And if I can't, then I have to buy it online. But guys, it's like, why would I want to make a video and tell you guys, hey, here's my Amazon affiliate when I don't buy stuff off Amazon, right? I don't. Right now, obviously, I bought stuff off Amazon. But it's just like, how many things can I sell you guys? Stuff that I don't care about? That's just not my purpose. Am I saying it's wrong? No. If you want to make your business like that, fine. I think you should let your viewers know that. Be like, hey, guys, I know you guys love my videos, but, you know, I will let you know that a lot of stuff that you see, you know, I do make money off the stuff down here on Amazon. And some of my videos tend to go towards that. Don't try to fool people like that man just said, like Ty said. Some people use manipulative tactics. So they're making videos teaching you how to make videos just to sell Amazon stuff. And then they're making money off you and say, <laughs> it's so, let me just break it down. I make a video teaching you how to make videos. And then I tell you, if you want to learn how to make more videos, go buy my course. And then I'll tell you how much money I've made off YouTube by selling you a course on how to make videos you know what I'm saying? It's like I'm making money off the course teaching you how to do what I'm already doing. If you just watch my video, you'll probably learn by that. You know what I mean? I shouldn't even really have to tell you how to make videos. Just watch my video and just mute it and just see all the editing I did. You probably learn better from that. And there's so many tools out there that are free. But some people, they think that they pay money, they're always going to get the investment back. Like if you pay $12,000 for a YouTube course, you think you're going to make that money back anytime soon? Hey, let me let you on on a secret. No. Guys, I understand people blow up. In fact, I have a friend of mine. Well, we're not friends. We're more of acquaintances. I haven't talked to her in a while. But when she first started out, she had about 631 subscribers when I met her. When I met, not 16, 600. She had 1,631 followers when I met her. She is now sitting at 100,000, 100, 100, 100,000, 100, 100 117,000 subscribers. I don't know what I was trying to say. She's sitting at about 117,000 subscribers today. That was two years ago when she was only sitting at 1,000. She had a video of a story time video go crazy in the algorithm and it just blew her up, right? It blew her up. Obviously, the subscriber count slows down after a while. My point is, is I've seen it happen. It's not like I've never seen it happen, but she made a video and I, I, I commend her for this because she didn't do it again. But at one point, she made a video saying how I went from um, 1,000 to 10,000 subscribers. And then she said all this stuff that she did. But to be honest, I have been watching her. None of that was true. And she hasn't made a video like that ever again, as far as I know. But it wasn't true what she said. What really happened is she went from 1,000 to 10,000 subscribers because a video went viral. That's it. Some people saw a video and it went viral. The thumbnail was great. It hit at the right point. That's all that happened. It's not all this other stuff that she said she did because she was saying like what I would do is I would tell my friends and my friends would tell my other friends and then I would put my video on and on four screens in the house and my thumbnail It's like, no, that's not what happened. You had a video that went viral. Sometimes there's no, there's no rhyme or reason because if it was true, she would have been able to duplicate that. She could not. And to, in fact, to this day, she has never had a video as successful as that one. So it's not it's, 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 better, it's better to say I had a channel do well. Somebody shouted me out and that's how I got where I got. Now, if she wants to make videos on how she's continued the success in her consistency. That is a formula. But how she got from zero to 10,000, none of the stuff she talked about actually got her there. A video did well. That's all that happened. Now, how she got from 10,000 to 100,000, that's a completely different story. Now she could talk about how she was consistent, how she kept working on her thumbnails. That's fair. But all that stuff you do not have to make a course on. Okay, you don't, right? Sometimes people just take something and they do well with it. But all this, it's just, it's, man, I'm sorry I'm talking so much, but it just, it makes me so upset because it's like 
all the stuff that these people talk about when it comes to, oh, I'm going to make a thumbnail and your thumbnail, if it has red and green in it and your eyes are going like this and you got your mouth open like this, it, it's going to make for a better video. Yeah, sometimes, but a lot of people do that in thumbnails. In fact, if you don't know this, guys, there's over 40, I believe right at this moment, there's over 40 million YouTube channels. You don't think, you don't think that every one of them could do this and it's going to be successful? No, it's not. A lot of those videos are never gonna. You're never gonna see the light of day. You only see. Remember, now YouTube has been doing way better about showing people channels that are small. I find channels that are small. People find me because I'm small. So YouTube has done a way better job of letting small creators get out there, right? But for the most part, the only channels we ever see are the ones that are already successful. That's how it goes. It's rare that you see a channel at zero subscribers and it's showing up, and somebody did this. And then they went from zero to a hundred thousand in a couple days. You know what I'm saying? It just, it doesn't work that way. Sometimes there is a little bit of luck. Sometimes somebody needs to shout you out. Sometimes it takes the perfect interview. Sometimes it takes the, the perfect thumbnail on, at the perfect time. It just happens to hit. All I'm saying is that this YouTube thing is hard. To get subscribers is hard. To get from zero to a thousand is hard. To get from a thousand to ten thousand is hard. To get from ten to a hundred. To get from a hundred to a million. To get from a million to ten. To get from... 10 to 20 to get from 20 to 40 to get from 40 to 80 to get to, I mean to get to 100 million subscribers would be absolutely insane all I'm saying is guys just relax enjoy the process look at your analytics know who you're talking to make sure you're staying passionate if you see videos don't do well don't maybe get us on them ever again <laughs> you know what I'm saying I make videos on celebrities and those videos don't do well for me sometimes they do but it's not often that a video I had more videos that did successful on people that on videos that people didn't even know compared to if I made a video on Beyonce right now. You know what I'm saying? It's just you never know. You just never know. Just find what you love to do. See what people like and try to mix them together and go from there. And the bigger you get, the more you can get into the business side and get into the money side. That's all I'm saying, baby. It's a hard road, no matter how you look at it. But do not. In your life, spend $1,200 on a course on how to make thumbnails, okay? They're just going to teach you how to get to Amazon eventually. That's all it always ends up being. And then they talk about how much money they made, and a large percentage of the money they made were from who? You. Goodbye.